Turn it this way. You can see that. Oh, it's too. Get it closer. Hello. <laughs> Are we live? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to DIY is my happy place. I'm Amy, and today we are going to have so much fun making a cowboy round em up gnome. So today I have This has my, been one of your most uh, requested ones. I have my handy assistant, Tim, with me. <laughs> so we're uh, still kind of getting set up. Go and get back closer. What? I can see the edges. Go around. No. no. Go get the, put the camera closer camera, is what you're saying. We, re, we reorganized the studio and now things don't <laughs> seem right. Oh my goodness. It's been one of those days. So I'm so happy you're here and I'm excited. I think we're going to really have some fun. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to those that are already here. Janet was our first one. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Janet and Cece. We're going to have it so that you can see the table a lot more than we have previously. It might be cutting off our heads a little bit. <laughs> no, it needs to go back just a little bit. <laughs> we're going to get this right. But we wanted to make it so it was easier for you to see what we're doing. Okay, that's good. That's good. That'll work. <laughs> okay, let's see. Kim Wenzel. Good evening. So good to see you here. So what's happened since we were last on? Before and we get Anne, started. Hi, Anne. What's oh we haven't had one for a long time. Well, three weeks. Yeah, that's that's a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> We've been doing our thing. So Tell me as you log in, tell me where you're coming from. Love to hear where people are from. Mandy Johnson. Hey, guys. Mandy. Hello from New York Nancy. City. Is that right? North Carolina. No. Yeah. North Carolina. I can, I, Nancy's from North Carolina. Nancy. Yeah. Okay. I need glasses to see the <laughs> little uh, so stuff. So you're going to see me like looking off to the side. I'm going to try to keep her up to speed on well, your comments. Move your, and things. move your phone over this way. Oh, Anne's from Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, Anne. I love it. Welcome. We've been we've been noticing that we've been getting more and more subscribers from Vancouver. Well, from, from Canada. Canada. Yeah. So that's awesome. exciting. We love that so much. So should I get started or get started? Are you do? Yep, okay. You you have questions. We ready always for later. run out. Okay. Of time, so. Okay. All right. So today yeah. um, we're going to be talking about how to, the specifics that we're going to be talking about are how to make jeans and pants, really, for um, men, male gnomes, and then, or female gnomes, <laughs> and then also I've got this really cool trick for how to make a cowboy hat fast and easy from dollar store supplies. Yeah. So. Yeah, get started. I'll do the shout out so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Yeah, that so, sounds yeah. good. Okay, I'm going to set this over here. Hi, Isabel. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so the first thing that you need if you're going to make this type of hat, and this is the funniest thing, you're, you just think, mm -hmm. wait, what is she doing? But I picked up these strainers. They're called mesh strainers from the Dollar Tree, and they have two sizes. So depending on what size gnome, you can do a small gnome hat, or a large one. And I think I need, do you have the foam core over there? Yes, I do. Let me have the foam core. I like to be able to show you what it looks like. You can form it and then I spray painted it. And I was even thinking of, there's a lot of different things. You could make it any color or any style. So Did that's you say gonna, that's the small one, right? This is the small one right. and this is the larger one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, Hi, Yolanda. Welcome. I'm glad you're out of the hospital and you're able to join us. Oh, That's my awesome. goodness. Yeah. I'm so glad. Okay. So these things are, they actually are put on here with staples. So staple remover. <laughs> Should I have these? 
We're ready to go. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want those walking out of the Dollar Tree. Don't want those walking out. Well, that's what holds them to their packaging. Um, and then they're just hung up on a thing. But look at how this, I mean, that could actually be a hat right there in and of itself. Yeah. It's pretty cute. Um, I was thinking that if you didn't want it to look mesh, you could put some, uh, what do you call it? Like hey, Natalie. the stuff that you would use for a pinata. I told it to you paper earlier. Mache. Paper mache. You could paper mache it and then spray paint it if you didn't want it to be mesh. But I kind of like the mesh look. Then it just looks kind of, you know, cowboy hats are mesh sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing um, that we're going to do is we're going to form the top. And the easiest way to do that is to get something like, you know, a tube of lip gloss. Mm. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Or in your case, maybe a pen or a marker or something. <laughs> or a glue <laughs> You're stick. You're going to laugh at me for that. Oh. Glue stick would work. Depending on how big you want your indention. How about a big manly screwdriver? Screwdriver. That could work. <laughs> the glue stick's a little bit hard because it bends a little uh. bit. I mean, it can work, but it is, it is pretty strong. And so we're just going to push. Now... When I was looking at hats and ha what the form of hats are, and generally speaking, they're dented in the middle, and they might be kind of a triangular shape on the outer edge, so it's farther in the back. So I'm going to just dent it. Oh, look. at See, this is good. We can actually see it oh, yeah. on camera. And I, I wonder if it's easier if I put it on this. Did you have a bigger piece of foam for or just um, this one? No, This I did is not. fine. And you can see it. Okay, so we're just going to dent this in. So just push down on it to dent it and kind of push this up. So forming the hat. We're forming the hat. And you can really kind of do it with your hands. And again, I want it a little bit more pinched in the front than the back. Like this. And then that's how we're going to get our hat. Now, I've done a lot of different ways of doing hats, and they can be quite a bit of work. And that's what I love about this one. It's pretty easy. You can do it lickety-split. Not okay. only that, but it's like solid. Solid. It's formed like, yeah. and it stays rigid. Stays rigid. And so after I get done forming it, it's when I spray paint it. I'm going to go ahead and just do it silver today. Okay, then you get a bigger... Uh, tubular shape <laughs> <laughs> totally tubular shape <laughs> and we're gonna um i like my cowboy hats where they come down in the front down in the back and up on the sides there you go it's personally how i like to wear my cowboy hats so this part is a little bit hard to do so if you have to you can put a pair of pliers on there to bend it if it if it feels like it's too much but um because it does like to have a little resistance. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Look at Isn't that great? And then we want the sides to come up. Like so. Okay, you got to ask some questions while I'm working here. So, okay. So, um, Natalie, welcome. <laughs> she says we're that we're making a, a hillbilly style cowboy hat. Hillbilly. I think you're <laughs> right. I think you are right. Hey, thanks, Jaren. We got a Welcome. super sticker. We're so excited that we actually have super stickers now and super chats. We're just we're becoming like the real McCoy now. Okay, if hat if any of it starts McCoy. to pop up, which every once in a while there'll be just a little piece. You can either glue it um, with some hot glue or, you know, like an E6000 or whatever. So I'm going to actually just use hot glue here. <laughs> Natalie's Natalie's in Texas, so she knows about the hats. So what, what do you think, Natalie? Is this called a hillbilly hat, this form, this style? <laughs> she could probably tell us all the brim styles, too. That would right? be awesome. I used to... Um, I had a hat. What happened to my hat that was formed like this? I'd wear it to the uh, movies. Yeah. I can't 
can't remember. When you were feeling super sassy? When I was feeling sassy. I like it. I like. I think it's up in our closet. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe so. Anyway, so hot glue will work. And at this point, um, this is when you can decide what color you want it to be. So, you know, you, and I just spray painted it. And it was so fast and easy to spray paint. But we're going to move on from there. Now, if you've watched any of my tutorials in the past, you know that I, I tend to do, I like to do the bodies and the arms and the shoes ahead of time so that it can go, you know, I, I tend to do kind of a chain of them. Like I'll do a bunch of shoes, a bunch of bodies, a bunch of, bunch of arms, and then I'm ready to go. You okay. were trying to say something. Yeah. Go right so ahead. Lori, Lori's asking, welcome Lori. She's asking if it would be easier to roll the sides first and then do the front and back. Oh, I, I, I and it definitely seems like that did go front and back. That definitely worked better. And I did use pliers on the ultimately. Oh, I have some. Okay. Like, where did my pliers go? Um, for this part, because it's only going up a little bit, so it's a bit resistant. So this is how you do it when you have pliers. You just hold this edge and then twist it. And then it'll start oh, yeah. coming up like so. Hey, Sarah, thank you. She loves our channel or your channel. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Hmm. Let's see if I can keep from denting my... Uh... So really, you could form it any way you want and then spray paint it and you're good to go. You're good to go. And you so... can spray paint it any color if you add a yeah. kind of a cream color. It could be cream or black or brown, whatever. What I'm going to do, because um, it just kind of put a little bit of that on the edge, I'm actually just going to trim that off because I think it'll disappear if it's trimmed and it really should be done with. Uh, you know me, I, I, I have all these scissors, right? Yeah. There's the scissors I'd be using for. The wrong scissors, yeah, I'm these sure. are the industrial strength scissors. <laughs> okay, now I just need to get the body of the gnome which i thought i had right here but i don't so let me go grab that you be talking <laughs> <laughs> i'll be talking so um natalie says texas girls wear hillbilly cowboy hats it's a thing nice. so see? see you are part of the trend yes already i've never been to texas right you didn't even know it <laughs> i do like the versatility because you really could take the time to form it however you want it and make it whatever color you could probably even put hat bands around it if you wanted to oh over there you can oh you got button no bodies okay <laughs> so but yeah you could probably put hat bands around them and really personalize them so okay um let's see We got caught up on every, I'm sorry, she she's grabbing um, a piece that we forgot. We were crazy today. Um, and I thought I had everything prepped, but I didn't. So, okay. Um, I think we're all caught up. Yeah, Natalie, it, it was pretty crazy when she started um, messing around with that and grabbing them when we went to the dollar store. Uh, yeah, it, it's like the perfect thing because you could do everything to it. So, okay. Um, oh, you got the the uh you found the shoe collection i left my shoes and i gotta have my shoes to make this work you want, so, you want to put anything over here or are you good yeah okay. let's come over there so i always make shoes in advance and i have quite a few boots and on this guy i kind of did just a black boot am i making a girl or a boy whatever you want 
I think I'm going to make a girl in jeans. How about that? There you go. I've always put the girls in skirts. And I'm going to do jeans. Okay. Hmm. Which means you need some sassy boots. I know. I'm trying to decide what sassy boots. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm going to let everybody vote. How about that? So I'm going to pick between this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Which ones should we do today? <laughs> I'm going to put them on here. Blue, gold, or black? Blue, gold, Hi, Carol, or black? Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining us. What's your vote? Blue, gold, or black? I know they're kind of sparkly for a cowboy, but... Makes Ann want to run to the store. She's <laughs> having so much fun. All right. We're going to let you vote on that while I start working on the other part. Blue, gold, or black? Yeah. Yes, Lori. I, yeah, we, it's so hard to keep track of some of this stuff. She said, you can't remember everything. <laughs> well, and I, yeah, we just moved my studio. We used to have it on the second floor, and now we moved it. So I just ran up two flights of stairs and back to get my shoes. So that's what we do. Okay, so this is my gnome body. And we do – did you put the yep. link? Okay. So there's a link below that shows you how to do – so I'm not going to show you things that I already have shown before. So I start with my um, oh boy, balloon they're stick make straws. It hard. Sorry, you got two votes black, one vote blue. Nice. Um, so, all right, keep the votes coming. You have about that's going to be the last thing that I put on. So the colors, <laughs> you keep track of the votes. Yeah. yeah, Natalie says Texas girls wear cowboy hats like yours, shorts, and cowboy boots to go dancing. Right. And, and sometimes they're sparkly boots, right? And now you have two votes black and two votes blue. Okay. You got to keep track of the votes. Okay. okay. So here's my, this is my body and it can be for a male or a female. So now let me show you, I'm going to show you how to make the jeans. And so I might put some ruffles on this one. I don't know. I'm going to decide, but I'm going to go ahead and do long jeans because that's what I had said that I would show. And then we'll see about how to fix them up. Okay, here's my trick for jeans. <laughs> is to use jeans? <laughs> is to use jeans. This is the best thing. Now, you know, there's different types of fabrics that you can get. There's different ways. But everything that I do with my gnomes so far, I've always done no sew. Meaning everything is glued or whatever. It's just no sewing. So, so easy even I could do it. Even you could do it. Yep. Yeah. Even you could do it, yeah. So having said that, it's nice if jeans have some sort of a seam on them, right? Because then they look more fancy. And like this one has pockets with some bedazzles <laughs> and even belt buckles and the whole thing. Belt loop, belt buckle. And That's of course a it's a guy, part. so it doesn't have any butt. Yeah, no butt. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you how we do that. Looks okay. like Natalie is yeah. waiting on extendable legs to arrive. Yes. What, oh, I'll tell you. Once you get them, then you can just start going. It's just on fire. Okay. Now, what we're going to do. Keep going. Oh, okay. I'm keeping I track of saying, votes. This is, this is another pair of jeans that I made that were like skinny leg ones. Skinny jeans. And, and these I made like a boot cut. So I think this time I'm going to make kind of a skinny leg. It's just awesome that you like have all these different styles, but in like the super miniature yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. In case you want capris or whatever. Okay, so what we do is find an old pair of jeans. This these jeans have seen better type days. They actually I did the patch thing, then that started falling off, and then when it was like even in the bum falling apart, that's when you know it's time to make them in the gnomes. Okay. <laughs> So what we are going to do is get out some good scissors. Are those the jean scissors? These are the fabric scissors. So any kind of fabric. <laughs> you, okay, you, keep the votes for, coming. For if anybody those just of you got that on, are new to our lives, you'll you'll know, you'll see that I'll harass her the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> So if you just got on, vote on which boots okay, we're going to do. So we're up to four blues and two blacks. Four blues and two blacks. All right. Let's keep those votes coming. Okay. 
All right, to make the pants, we're gonna do a pant leg. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You could use jeans, or if you were just trying to do pants on a different type of gnome, you could use pajama bottoms. You could use, I mean, just really any any kind of pajama, you know, any kind of leg will work. And I don't measure it out. Let's see, it's about, <laughs> you know, I actually, what I do is I'll look at one of my shoes. That's how we measure think, fish, you know. Yeah, that's how we measure our fish. I caught a fish this big. Um, this is what the shoes look like when I'm working my way through it. And I use these cups that you can get from Amazon, I believe. And anyway, we make those. But so I want the leg to be about that tall. So that's how I <laughs> judge. But it's Those it's about right yeah, oh yeah. It's about well, I started off about nine inches, and because you can always cut them down. So give yourself nine inches. And what do y'all think? Should I do a boot cut or should I do skinny jeans? Skinny jeans. Because maybe I'm gonna do skinny jeans because then they could tuck into the inside of any of these. Sure. shoes i don't want to hide any of the glam or anything right okay so it doesn't have to be the bottom of the jean um it really can be any part of the leg you can just like hot glue it up and i'll show you that in a minute but the next thing if i'm doing a really wide boot boot leg then i would cut off this would be I'm not doing very good. Let me measure that. It would be about seven inches, seven inches. But because I know I'm going to do a little bit thinner leg, I'm going to do it at five and a half inches. Well, no, I'm going to go six inches because you have to give, it'll be five and a half before it's done because I am going to glue. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you'll maybe, uh, hopefully not jumping ahead here, but. So that'll be the other seam. The other seam. Right. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do, though, because I want it to taper up at the waist a little bit, um, I'm going to just give it a slight um, edge to it. So it's getting just a little bit thinner at the top. So now my top is five inches and my bottom is six and a quarter. Okay, hold it up and then they can see oh. the slant. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. So they're at a slant like that. Okay. So um, Natalie's asking she about your gnome legs, which you have a, a video on, but real quickly, you use balloon straws that you get from either Amazon or for um, Dollar Tree. Every right? once in a while they have them at Dollar Tree. Sometimes they don't. So this is the thing. They they look like just a straw. They're <laughs> hollow in the middle. They're, pl they're plastic. And they come, they're this length. And um, they have these little attachments. And this attachment is the key element in order to make this work. If they don't have these attachments, then these straws are good for your signs and for some of the other things, but they won't attach. So what I like about these little attachments, and this is what I figured out, I can make the shoes in advance and then I can get the attachment, put it in the shoe like this, and then it's ready for the legs of the gnome that looks like this. And now you have a standing gnome. And the best part is it'll stand on its own even with one shoe. And that's one thing that I've found with gnomes. It's really hard to get standing gnomes that don't tip over. And so if you do it this way, the shoe is weighted with hot glue. <laughs> and so it's heavier and then this is the trick. And then if it, I mean, it tips a little bit because it doesn't need the other shoe. And then if it's still a little bit tippy, you can use the sign to help give it a three-legged. So I grew up on a farm 
as everyone knows. And my dad always had this stool that had three legs that he would use to milk the cow or whatever. And a three-legged stool is pretty yeah. stable. They don't tip over. So that's what that is. Okay, so Lori was making a gnome over the weekend, but she couldn't get the pants to look very nice. Is there any tricks that you have to yes. making pants look yes. nice? Yes, and I've done a lot of pants, and I've had a lot of flops. So I'm going to help you with that today for sure. This is a no-fail pants. <laughs> well, hopefully. Watch, today will be the day <laughs> it fails. I see Sarah said... Sarah have you... says, have you ever tried using glow sticks for legs? Okay, so glow sticks won't really work because, first of all, they're not strong enough. And that's the one thing about this. It's really strong. A glow stick is quite bendable. So if you were doing... Um, Even with the glass inside. Yeah. If you were doing a sitting gnome, that it didn't matter about their legs being bendable or whatever, then you could use glow sticks possibly. But then how are you going to attach your shoes? You could just glue them into it, I yeah. suppose. So good question, Sarah. Love that. It was glowing. It was glowing. That was a glowing quest, uh, question. Okay. So after we get our piece of denim cut, we're going to turn it inside out because I'm not doing any sewing. And we're going to go ahead and glue the seam with our handy dandy hot glue gun. I'm now, gonna get one thing that I usually do, I love this Gorilla hot glue, glue gun. It is my favorite. And I've used it so much that the little rubber thing came off and I'll, you know, it, it still is working great. And the thing that I love about this is it will work for low or high, it has a low or high setting, and it has a really fine point. Can you see it? So I can get really precise. Instead of having this big glob of glue, going across. Oh, you can get a really thin bead. You can get a thin bead. And then the other thing is, depending on if you're doing something like fabric, I can use just a generic glue stick. But if I need something to be stronger, I can use the Gorilla Glue hot glue, and that that works for things that need to be stronger. So awesome. I guess that's why I like that one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks, Nathan. Appreciate it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so I'm going to do a really thin bead right along the out outer edge of the fabric, like so. Okay. The other thing is, it doesn't really drip. Like, having said that, it'll drip, like, just a little bit. Whereas most of the glue guns that I've used, they're just constantly dripping. So that's that can be annoying. Okay. Then once that is glued and that can still be cooling, I'm going to slide this back so it's on screen. What we're going to do is I'm going to move the seams so that they are evenly matched because we want the seams to be a little bit forward if they're going to be anything. Does, does that make yeah. sense? So they're towards the front yeah, of the gnome, the front of the gnome, because we want to be able to see the seams sort of, you know. OK, so we're going to move this fabric. So it was exactly flat like this. And I'm just moving it a little bit so you can see my seam that I just glued is right there. And then this is the part that makes it so great. Mm -hmm. I need to see how tall, Thanks, my, Sarah. tall my gnome is. That's oh, awesome. number one fan. Thank you, Sarah. So you can see how tall your gnome is, and you figure out where you want the waist to come, and that's that's how long you want the, that will help determine how long you want the legs. So in order to make this work, what we do, you're just going to be astounded when you see how easy this is. Well, you, every I'm, time you laugh, I think there's something. Okay. No, no, I'm waiting. I and want the legs to be about this high. So you just cut straight up like this, right there. Now, we're going to glue these down, and I want you to think of it kind of like a rectangle, only smaller, but just pretend like this ruler is a smaller rectangle. We're going to glue on the inside like, like a rectangle like that. So a bead of hot glue and a rectangle. 
Yep, a bead of on hot glue inside. on the inside. Just okay. like that's the shape. Because when I start gluing, it's going to be hard to tell what I'm doing. And that's what I'm doing. And if you have this rectangle shape right there, then when you have your pants, they lay like they look like they're really pants instead of right. every other time that I've tried to do this. Anyway, this so, is the no fail. Yes. Um, oh, I, I didn't know if you if you need to trace that. You don't in need order to, to know where the glue goes or really you just need to know how high up you're going to have your legs go gotcha. how long are your legs <laughs> okay so i'm going to go ahead and get my glue here and it looks like i need another glue stick in oh. there okay i'm going to keep you loaded with glue and a okay now we it. have cc says the black ones i hope you're writing uh, all these yeah, down yeah yeah this is going to be fun Okay. Got three black and four blue. I'm going to go just down the leg. And the one thing that I've learned with, if you're using hot glue is don't do too much at a time because it'll start to set up before you have a time to seal it. Do what you need to. And I do like to have something underneath. And I actually have, oh, what do you need? This oh, yeah. is one of my favorite things. This is a silicone hot pad that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this is what I love about this. If you have one of these underneath whatever your project is that you're gluing, hot glue does not stick to it at all. Yeah. I have it underneath my hot glue gun, but I have one. But literally, anything that comes off onto it, as soon as that hot glue, I'm going to show you. As soon as that hot glue dries, it just peels off like, like a sticker. Like a sticker. Well, a sticker might even stick, you know, to something. But anyway, so that's my tip of the day right there. Use pretty one of those hot pads. And then, because I always have it on my cutting board, but then I have little pieces of hot glue kind of on my cutting board. So then when I go to cut, it's not flat. Gotcha. So it really is handy yep. to have one of those. Okay. So this one is starting to glue. So I've got to get up here and get my rectangle shape across. And I won't say where that is because Tim hates the, <laughs> the hate sewing word. word that people use for. <laughs> I'm not going to say it because. It... Yeah. <laughs> she knows and my whole family knows too. <laughs> when he goes to get like some pants sized or whatever and then this. The seamstress or seamster, is that what you call it? Uh, seamster is like, well, we need to measure from the, anyway, uh, yeah. you get what I'm saying. Okay, so now look at here. We have pants. Now I don't have to do a hem on the bottom because I did the bottom of the, you used the bottom, of, bottom the of the pants. But if not, all you have to do is just roll it up and glue along the bottom edge. And that's how you get the bottom seam, which is what I did with, with this other one. Now, I do need a top seam because I want the top right along here to not look frayed. So this is when I will usually see, okay, how high up. And the worst thing <laughs> that I've done a lot of times is had the waist too high. And then it looks all funny. It looks like... You're... It's a style, but not for cowboys. Not for cowboys. We want it to look kind of, you know... So figure out where your waist is and then go up about a quarter of an inch and so that you can glue that part down. Gotcha. Does that make sense? So you're always compensating a little bit for glue. Yep. Gluing. Yep. So Natalie, you had good. to go and say it, didn't you? What's yeah, there we go. Uh, Natalie's saying it for us. <laughs> oh, Tim. So leave it funny. to the Texas girl to throw it out there. <laughs> Oh, then Christy's got to jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Sheesh. Okay. Now, this piece that I cut off is not wasted either because that's going to be my pockets. Okay. Now, let's glue back. Oh, this is dry. Look at this. This is this is what I'm telling you. So, now hot glue just goes. What? That is crazy. Isn't that something? So, yeah, having one of those around Holy for crafting Lord. is the only way to go. Okay, the other thing that I like about it is I can use it when I want to get textures in foam. 
Yeah. You had to bring okay. it up. Now everybody's saying it <laughs> in the chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Okay. I know. Now for the top seam, again, I'm just going to go about a quarter of an inch and glue that down. I got to get going. I'm already. Yes. You're... I keep talking, don't I? Well, we're just kind of having fun. Yeah. At my vocabulary expense. <laughs> so good. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, when you're gluing jeans, the one thing that I've found is where the seams are, it's pretty strong, um, and it just keeps on wanting to pop up, so that's when I get my uh, clothespins. He's, like, trying to clear the table, and he's like, what do you have clothespins for? Trust me, we need clothespins. Clothes <laughs> All right, check what what no, things no, I missed. Good, okay, good. okay. Um, okay. <laughs> well, Natalie says, okay, so what's the deal with that word? Everybody got one. I, I know. I just, it's just one of those words that <laughs> so odd to me. I don't he know. He did why. not grow up with. Uh, no, people say it about around. trees and everything, and it's like, that, it, <laughs> no, it doesn't make, no. <laughs> doesn't bother me at all. It's so funny because my mom was one of the most, like, conservative talking type people ever. But she was also a seamstress, so that was not an yeah. offensive word to her. So nope, nope, nope. I can't comprehend your worry. Well. So Apparently funny. nobody can except for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's what it looks like when you get that seam done. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to pockets. All right. Now, let me cut this off. I have to admit, when I was watching you make this earlier, the pockets were just, I. that was my favorite part. Really? I don't know why. Because huh. you got little rivets on them and everything. Well, yeah. You can't just have plain pockets. That'd be boring. Okay. Now, what I do with the pockets is just cut a couple of pockets. And then on all four sides, just a little tiny seam like that. You could do it sewing, too, if you didn't want to. Um, oh, so you're going to cut that in half and then do... All four sides. Yeah. And actually, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'll make it them smaller than the other ones. Okay. Oh, Carol said she has a hard time finding the hot pad at her dollar. Oh, dollar really? Tree. Oh, yeah. That's it's crazy how sometimes there's certain things you just can't. And well, that's what yeah. I found with the balloon stick straws like so much of the time they don't have those so when i see them that i grab like four yeah. or five the same the other thing that it's hard to find are those um those wooden game pieces oh yeah the the jenga, jenga or whatever blocks those yep. get you get get taken oh, up real Nan fast nancy's voting for blue shoes blue shoes okay so if you're just joining us we are having a vote on which type of shoes our going with cowboy pocket. is going to wear. Blue, gold, cowgirl. Cowgirl. Cow yeah. So is everybody seeing that that night bot thing? Yeah, that, that's just weird. Don't pay any attention to that. No, I think it might be left over from our last live oh. when we gave away our gnome. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now they know, so they can ignore it. Ignore that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, where's Nathan when you need him? Nathan, fix it. <laughs> okay. All right. That's awesome. Now. So did you just glue the one edge? You glue all four edges. All four. Okay. All four edges. But I this only is, saw you do the one. So. I did two, but. Then for the rivets, you can do, now I got this sheet. It was a, a sheet like, mm, let's see. I oh, This is the other thing. The, the dollar store has these sheets of stickers 
different styles and then sometimes they have these but sometimes they don't so when they do and they're just silver like dots rivets or something i love these so whenever i see them i get them sorry i just i know you think i'm laughing at what you're doing I know, i'm, like, I'm not laughing at i'm again. laughing at the chat <laughs> so <laughs> natalie she said um as long as i as you do go around scratching your C. So, <laughs> see, that's part of the reason why I just, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's we're like going to. a cat the wrong way. <laughs> okay, now we're going to turn the pant uh, leg wrong Christy's side out. Going out. A vote for the gold. Going for the gold. All right, now, because oh, these. Oh, so now you're going to. Turn, turn them right side right out. side out okay. now sometimes it can be a little bit hard especially with the skinny jeans when i was doing this one i'm like okay i need a pen to help push them through oh. but when they were the bell bottoms you can just get them with your like your just hands but yeah you need a little help to push those through so that goes like that okay so so far what do we have so far we have blue in the lead with Blue's five votes in the lead Black with three votes, and Christy is lonely out there with a gold vote. <laughs> I say gold like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't be singing on here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. I was Thanks, gonna... Carol. We love having you join us. I'm getting these turned around. Okay. Voila, skinny jeans. Skinny jeans. I glued this part Don't a little say bit too it. far. <laughs> so those got messed up, so we're going to do these. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. So then, once they turn around and you're not on camera, you'll get them right. Now, if the top is too skinny, you can fold it over and then glue again, both in the front and in the back, so that you've got the seams going down that way. And then we're going to glue on. I got to make sure this is going to fit oh, on yeah. our gnome. Let's see how she does. She's just like the rest of us, puts one pant leg on at a time. <laughs> And we will have to give her a little bit of a bum. Oh, hey, Bev. Bev says gold, too. All right. Oh, All right. wow, Mary. Thank you. Welcome. She says gold. Gold is now catching up. Gold is catching up. Okay, so now that I've got some pants, and I might put some rhinestones down the front here to jazz it up. But I'm going to go ahead and glue these pockets on so that she's got some back pockets. Nice. And you want to make sure you put your pockets low enough that you can put belt buckles because I feel like you don't, you're not a real cowboy if you don't have a belt or cowgirl. And you got to have a big buckle that, of course, you want at the rodeo. And so there we Hi, go. Hi, MC. Welcome. Thanks. I love being here. I like giving her a hard time while she's trying to concentrate <laughs> in front of lots of people. Okay. I'm going to show you how to make um, the belt loops. This part is so easy, too. <laughs> Mandy had to laugh because she had to do the same thing this morning. Was she, her pants? Yeah, I messed up, so she had to start over. <laughs> oh, that, okay, if I'm being honest, lives stress me they do. out. Stress me out because because of something like that, you know? <laughs> if you're not on live, then you can just go, okay, I'll just stop this and... Oh. Use a swear I, word and I, throw them hey, off. Hey, and... hey. But I think that's why I, I like this quote, the cowboy quote that is, um, courage is being scared to death and saddling up anyway. That's the way I feel about lives. I'm just going to saddle up anyway. I'm scared to death of it. 
<laughs> Nat okay. Natalie, we're we're straight north of you, um, two more states. So we're in Nebraska. And where's where's she's, Natalie? She's in Texas. Oh yeah. Yeah, Nebraska. Okay, so Omaha. sorry, what are you cutting? Okay, so I'm just cutting some strips, and these are for my belt loops. Gotcha. Now, the one thing that I figured out was um, it's good to have them a little bit long because you can tuck them in. I really should have worn a different color shirt. Why do I do that every time? <laughs> okay, so. You want a piece of paper? Yeah. Okay, so this is what my belt loop is is going to look like so i'm just going to glue it this direction at the bottom and then i'll let that dry so i'm just going to put a little bead oh, along here i see what you're doing and then i'll put that on here like so oh natalie's got family in corn husker territory hey all right I love it. All the signs leading into our state say it's the good life. So, <laughs> the good life. Okay, let's see here. Right now, we're expecting some bad weather. So, oh, are we? Yeah, some thunderstorms. That's why I kept looking out the window. I'm like, if it can just hold off for about an hour, then if the power goes out, we're all right. We're getting thunderstorms tonight. Yep. Oh, okay. All right, now, I think that because this girl needs some fun in her life. It's a hula skirt. Yeah, we're going to let those finish. She needs a little bedazzle down the leg, oh, don't you think? Of course she does. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Those of you that know Amy know that she loves a glitter little, and bedazzle glam. and anything shiny. And these stickers come all together and... Again, straight from Dollar. You know, I really should get sponsored from Dollar Tree one of these days. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to glue those on. It doesn't have to go all the way down because the boots are going to be there, but just to be safe. So, Natalie, yeah, the corn is really good. Um, when you can find it, for some reason, uh, well, I know the reason, but it's a lot of feed corn instead of the sweet corn. So well, when you it, can find the sweet corn, it is the best. And it's not just feed corn. I, I did this research when we moved here. I'm like, what is the story with all this corn? So a lot of things are made with corn. So like makeups have yeah, corn in it. Like the corn syrup, corn and starch the that corn they starch, put on roads yeah. to uh, the, keep them from freezing. Yeah. All of those things are, even lipstick has corn <laughs> sometimes. Christy says, yes, bling her up. Bling it up. Okay. So now I've got, you know what I should have done was given her some suspenders, but okay. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> okay. So then once, once I have that part up, then I'm just going to put the other side up and tuck it down in. And ah. then I'll just glue it into Down place. Over now, the top of the you jeans. can see that it's really long, but it's just a lot easier <clears throat> to glue it if it's longer. So we're just going right down in there, give a little dab of glue. Done. Now, if you were going to give her a different colored shirt, it would be done before you glue this in. But I'm going to have her in a white shirt with a bandana. Okay. Yeah, Natalie was actually asking that earlier, what color shirt was yeah. it going to be. Yep. She's so going to have white okay. or possibly black. I don't, I don't know. Generally, I'll try to have the body of the gnome the same color as um, the shirt. The shirt. But sometimes you can have your sleeves a different color, and then it just looks like you have a vest on. So maybe I'll do, I might do a different color. Yeah. I'm kind of making this one up as we go. <laughs> that works. Okay. It's quiet. You need I know. To <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> okay. I think I got to moderate myself sometimes because I can... Okay, did you tell me I have cotton balls somewhere? Yes. Yes, Would you grab like me some? some cotton balls because I, I think she needs a little junk in her trunk. What do you Oh, think? boy. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> Is that offensive to you, too? No. I just can't 
can't believe you said it. <laughs> I just this think, be okay? yeah, that'll be perfect. But two of them. That's a lot of junk. Uh, well, one for each cheek. <laughs> These are not the small cotton balls. <laughs> These I actually use for pom-poms. They're the pom-poms for the end of gnome hats. Okay, Carol's wanting, she might said, work in a vote pinch. in blue too. Okay. All right, we're giving her a little, little booty. Or. A what? Nothing. <laughs> what did you I say? Said, or big booty. Big booty, big booty. Okay. Now, although that does that does look that's going to look better than Mr. Cowboy here, who's got no butt. Well, that's kind of how. Look, I grew up on a farm where there were there were lots of cowboys around, and none of them had a butt. No. Yep. That's true. There. Okay, She's starting to have. Bit of a so I have noticed too that as you make these, um, it's it's good to form it the way you want as you're doing it. Yes. You're constantly kind of shaping the body yeah. and yeah, that's true. Okay, now I always buy foam. Lori's it, in Arizona. That's got to be really hot right now. Is it anyway, hot? I would think so. Yeah. Arizona is always toasty. Yeah. No, they have beautiful weather, <laughs> especially in summer. I can deal with uh, the Arizona dry heat. heat. Yeah. Okay, so foam, it, there's so many things you can do with it. I make a lot of the shoes with foam, but certainly for um, embezzle, embe, embezzling, <laughs> embellishments, <laughs> it's good to have. So this is going to be my belt buckle, or my belt, not my buckle. Oh, my goodness, I'm losing my mind. Well, I noticed since you put those cotton balls in, that belt got really long. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's better to have a belt that's too long than one that's too short. Okay, we're going to come around here and go through my loops and put on the belt. And it's got to be thinner. <laughs> Okay, what questions do you have today? Um, none. <laughs> <laughs> it's more fun just flying by the seat of my pants. Well, Come on, folks, right? I mean, by the seat of my Wranglers. Wranglers. You know it. Okay. Here we go. Christy said, was someone embezzling your embellishments? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's a lot to say in one oh my goodness. Sentence. When I was saying, oh yeah, these are no fail pants, and then the one time. <laughs> <laughs> you did say that too. You said, now watch, they're gonna fail. <laughs> oh, so far so good though. Yeah. Just gotta make sure this seals on there. Oh, I'm excited to see how you do the belt buckle. Okay, so once I get the pants on, I go ahead, or the belt, I go ahead and glue it down. That's the one thing that I do. I always glue <laughs> Thanks, everything. Sam. What? We're, we're fun. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to trim this oh, out. Oh, please. They keep throwing that, that other S word out or C word out there. <laughs> Now um, people know. Yeah. I gave you away. Okay. Now we've got a belt. And I'm gluing that on. Now you cannot uh, so, see. Go ahead. So hold that up so they can see how you trim the end of your of your belt. Can it rotate it just no the other way? Yeah. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. So she just tapered the end. Yep. Up. Tapered the end. And then we need a big old of gem. Of course. <laughs> oh. It really a belt no, buckle. No, that, that actually works perfect for a belt buckle. Yeah. I thought you were going to throw a whole other strip of bling on her. 
Oh, no, no. Well, if I would have thought about it, that's what I would have done for sure. Yeah, because a blinged out belt would have looked great. Why didn't I think of that? Okay. That's awesome. Okay, she's got her little belt and her buckle. Okay, let's do arms. I'm going to go ahead and do black arms. I'm going to make it look like she's got on a vest, I think. Oh, nice. So I make my arms in advance. This is another thing that I've shown. Do we do we put a link about this? Uh, I think it's in... It's in one of the videos that I linked or put that I put in the description. Okay. So. so I like to make them. They're just, they are made out of felt. They have styrofoam balls on the end. And then they have the curlers that have wires inside them. So they're, that I can. They're foam curler they're foam curlers. Things, right? I think I have one around here. And that just makes it that's so easy in that they're all attached in one piece of felt. And then I can just come along and put the arms on. And she's going to be ready to go in no time. Awesome. Look at that. Okay. So I like to glue the arms mm. right to the top of the head. So that's going there. And you don't have to worry. Even though we have the mesh um, hat, she still needs hair. So that will hide, hide the arms. Up here. And the top of the nose, right? And the top of the nose. Now, generally speaking, this is one thing. You want your nose to land like it's in the middle of the head. So it's supposed to look like they've got their nose down and the hat is over it. So the nose needs to get down here. Down further. Yeah. So <clears throat> I will put the nose where I want it when I'm gluing all of that together. Okay. I think we should make her a redhead. That's what I've been thinking. Sure. Yeah. I got crazy. Okay. Maybe I, I hate to have too many votes, but we could either do. Yeah. I'm yeah let's do red. Okay. No, this. I was going to say blonde. Make her blonde. Like this kind of blonde? Yeah. Okay. So this is a pretty slick way to do hair, which is just that it's called, how do you say that? Excelsior. 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 We got it. Oh. There we go. Okay. There's Where so did many... you get this? Dollar Tree. Okay. <laughs> There's so many different things that you can use for hair. The other option I have is some red, Bright which red. I'll do that for maybe somebody else. And that was, I don't know. It's just like in the floral department of, it's not at Dollar Store. It's, I don't know. Okay. So we're going to use some of this. Okay, keep those votes coming in. What color shoes? Well, I think it's going to be blue. It's going to be blue. Blue will work. Okay, so this is going to make a mess, but that's okay. We're just going to see. <laughs> Put some of this out. Now, a lot of times I use yarn like or I'll eat. use um, mop hair and do braids. But I think in this case, it's just going to be fun to kind of have a just a all out kind of like she's been riding in the wind <laughs> just like that what do you think yeah okay so i gotta get a lot of glue hold this in we put a glue stick in there oh yeah reload look at this you should just be around me all the time when i craft this is handy <laughs> Okay, we got the hair. Now I don't want to get burned on it. Whoop! Careful, like hot glue's hot. Glue is hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an inside uh, joke. That was on our first live, I think. Yeah. Like, Ow! That hot glue is hot. Hot glue is hot. Okay, I'm gonna give her some hair on yeah, the back. Yeah, she needs some back. Oh, I gotta do some bedazzles on her pockets. We're getting close. Jaren says if the shoes aren't red, he will freak out. If the shoes aren't red. <laughs> <laughs> we do have some red 
boots, but they're more galoshes. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Whoop. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, we're going to let that cool for just a minute while I put on some little bedazzles on her pockets. Let's see, which kind am I going to do? <laughs> If those are too big. Oh, no, nope, those look perfect. Now, even though these have stickers, oh. what? What were you going to say? Shoot, there's, I think they're spread out too far. You can almost take the zigzag part. And just and, put it across it? No, and turn it so that it's a W, and then you have your Wranglers. Almost like it's a kind of. Almost like it's Wranglers. Um, even though these stickers, they are stickers, you definitely want to <clears throat> glue them down because um, I think it'll be too big. Yeah, it will yeah, be. Yeah, it's going to be Never too big. Mind. All right. Um, they will pop off eventually if you don't. So I'm just going to do this right here. Okay, are you keeping track of the voting? Yeah, I... I don't know what Jaren was thinking with the red. That wasn't wasn't even in the wasn't on an the option. ballot. <laughs> Whose kid is that? Um, okay, so yeah, it's definitely blue's got um, six votes, and the other two have three. So okay, I think maybe we just call it and say blue. Blue, it is okay. Let me get her bedazzles on. Definitely needs some pockets with some glam because everybody needs a little glam in their life. Okay. <clears throat> Oops. Getting glue in the hair. <laughs> okay, did you know if when you're working with hot glue, I have a, a little tip or trick. Um, do you know how when you're using hot glue and sometimes you get these strings, these long strings, you know what's a good way to get rid of strings? Do you know the answer? Uh, give it to your husband so he can pick them all off. <laughs> If you don't want to sit there and pick them all off. Does anybody know the answer to that? Gold has four, Christy says. How many? It's still behind. Oh. Okay, tell, let's, let's go over the numbers. This is the last chance to vote. <laughs> and if you want to vote again, that'll be fine. What? That's cheating. Oh, it is? Oh. <laughs> Watch me. Oh, you gotta watch me like a okay. Hunt. Three for black, oh. six for blue, and four for gold. Okay, well, it looks like she's been rolling in the hay. She's been rolling in the hay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, now I know you can still see a little bit of whatnot and what have you, but when we put stuff our um, hat on, then that will help hold down the hair. And because I'm going to actually paint this hat, I'm not going to glue it down. But the way that I glued down the other one, I just literally put glue, and it seems crazy because it's mesh, but I just beat a glue around there and then just pushed it on, and then you can kind of form it where you want it and then hold it until it's done. And then the same thing, like you can glue down some of the hair where you want it and... Or should I just go ahead and glue okay, it, Bev, Bev glue it says silver? Uh, Actually, have, silver would look good with this since yeah. she's the rhinestone. Yeah. What'd you say? Um, since you asked about the strings. Oh, yeah. So Bev says a lint brush. Oh, a lint brush. That's a good Natalie idea. Natalie says a heat, heat gun melts the strings. Yep. That was my trick. You can take a heat gun or a hair dryer, and it'll immediately melt all those strings away. It's perfect. I'm so glad. Okay, watch out, it's hot. <laughs> so then you do, there's no getting around it. You have to just wait for that to kind of glue itself down. What uh, and what have you? Oh. 
Now, she just, looks very pretty, CC says. I think that, oh, well, thank you. Here, do you want to hold that together yes, just like that? Don't get burned. I'm going to give her a headband around there. I need yeah, some let me keep your silver. Head on. Let's see. Where is my silver? Or I guess it could be black. What color? Well, it depends on what color I do. What color do shoes blue? are we doing? You got, you're doing blue. Doing blue. Okay, let me see if I've got something blue that's sparkly. Let's see. Green, I've got every color. <laughs> we do need to uh, style her hair a little bit, though. Well, and I will. <laughs> I know. That's the final, you mm. know, touches. Yeah. She looks a little uh, frazzled. The two colors I'm looking for, silver or blue, I'm not finding in sparkles. I, I love these sparkly foams. Oh, there's the blue. Yep. It's a different color of blue. Oh, still a different color of blue. There we oh, go. Yeah. Okay, yep. now we're cooking with peanut oil. Okay, so this is one thing that I've figured out that um, foam loves foam. So it, you can even glue, if this is, obviously this is not long enough to go around. So I can just glue two strips together. And I'll show you how. Just like this. To make one band. And cutting her hair. Yes, go for it. She's got some flyaway hair. Isn't that a thing with women? Flyaway hair. She's she's just trying to be a girl from the eighties. Oh. <laughs> All right. That's better. Okay. A little. Now I feel like I need I need a little black vest right here. That's what I'm gonna do. Do you want to cut vests for me? What do you want? It's just gonna be like come around right here and right here for a vest, or maybe it should be shimmery. Oh, no, wait, just I, got with that. I got it. I got, got it. it. I'm on it. You're on it. You're on it. Um. Okay. Now she needs her headband around her. A little bit too thick. So, how many of you who are on here have ever made a gnome before? I'm curious. And what kind of gnomes did you make if you did? Okay. Will this wrap around and go under her arms? Uh huh. And, but I might need to shorten it. So tell me if it's too... What do you too, mean shorten it? Like if it's too wide. We should have done it before we glued her hair. No, it's good. Oh, yeah. That'll be perfect. I love it. Right? Yep. We can add more hair. That's for sure. I like it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Pete gun. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Natalie says she's been dancing all night. So really, you could like yeah, totally you, deck it out in different um, with different things, like CC. Um, she was thinking maybe a red blouse under a black vest. Oh, and I forgot the bandana, but I think. Oh yeah. I had a bandana, but I don't know that I want a bandana with this. This one's a fancy one, but I love that idea. You put really any color underneath. Just gotta hold that in place long enough for this to glue itself. Which oh the hair? The nose. Oh the nose. I'm centering yeah. her nose. Gotcha. Remember when I, I said that you definitely don't want the nose to be up too high, or that will just look not gnomish. I think one of the things that we need to point out is we're really 
you're really kind of rushing through this to get it done within an hour sure. when in reality you can take as much time as you want yeah. to, to do things. Very true. Very true. Okay. Now hold that for, well, no, it's okay. And then I, I do a lot of times I will, you want me? <laughs> I'll just hold one thing while I'm gluing another. Oh, this is just oh, what yeah, this hat that's needs. that's going to be awesome. See a little bit of glitter. It's the answer. It's the answer for sure. Okay. I keep wanting to pull her hair. I know. We will definitely, you know, really glue down some hair here to get it tamed a little bit. Yeah, she's been dancing all night. She still needs to have a little. Pollyanna says she's made gnome Christmas ornaments, gnome cupcakes, Mr. and Mrs. Seahawks, as well as gnomes in sombreros. And <laughs> Bev said, just finished my ballerina and boating gnomes. <gasps> nice. Oh, I love it. I did a ballerina gnome. That was a harder one. And I haven't done a tutorial on it because it actually took me a long time. <laughs> it did, but it's pretty cool because it's, it's balancing cool. on her toes. It is balancing on her tippy toes. So that is good. Okay. okay. We both say You want okay. me to hold, let me hold it up to the camera or is that glued? Is it good? It's still just about glued. Okay. A little soft. Are, am I running out of time? I need to give her a bedazzle on her oh yeah on her vest jacket her vest so literally for that vest i just cut a strip of the um, black foam and then as you can see on there i just rounded off the ends so that Amy could wrap it under her arms. No, I'm almost feeling. Is that going to be too much? Yeah, that's. Oh, I know, but oh I'm doing my it. Word. <laughs> and she's going to be the rhinestone cowgirl. She's a rhinestone something. <laughs> Sorry, I just <clears throat> all of a sudden got carried away and. Yeah. yeah. Now, now I'm, her vest matches her pants. I'm going to go back and glue that on with with. Um, <laughs> the hot glue. Okay, and then she needs a big, great big one for her hat. Okay, uh, I'm going to hold this up so right. I can see her. Let me see here. Oh, here, I'm going to use this other kind for the hat. I use, whenever I buy these strips, I use every last flower. Not a single flower goes to waste. Oh, goodness. Okay. Wow. Um, my tunes, Chris Everett, uh, Minnesota. She's made Minnesota Viking, welder, fisherman, angel, beer, hockey, nurse, etc., etc., etc. So she's she's yeah awesome. she's getting into it. Um, Carol said that looks great. Um, <coughs> Let's see. Anne says, started with sock gnomes, not doing standing ones from pool noodles. And Carol hasn't made one yet, but she wants to try. So now. Okay. Now, I do have these um, signs that I just print out and I put on a piece of foam core, add a little bedazzle to that. I love having the bendable arms. So you can have the gnome move around. Okay, what color? We said blue. Yep, blue. Here comes the moment of truth. So I need to find my little, these little tiny attachments. Oops, well, I dropped one. I what do you need? One oh. Attachment. Okay, here's so one. I'm going to put that in. And get her in her shoes. 
You know, it's not. Okay, so you're just finished. attaching one end to the other end of the balloon stick. Yes. Inside her pants. Yeah. Inside her pants, yeah. And then, okay. we make sure those are lined up evenly. Okay, <laughs> the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be something if it didn't work? <laughs> Oh, it's going to, it's, it's going to work. work. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. She's got all that bling to weight her down. So yeah. how can it not work? You got to tuck her, her pant legs in. <laughs> um. Then sometimes I will actually, once I know that she's standing in the right way and how I want it, then I'll go back and actually go ahead and, and glue the two pieces together so that um, the, the shoe and the leg, these two parts, so that's what it, this is what it looks like. So I put this in and this one in, and I'll actually put some glue on it so that it doesn't come off. And then these things are, they're ready to go. There we go. We have us a cowgirl on our hands and she can wave or she can do the jig. <laughs> the Texas two-step. The Texas two-step, whatever that may be. And I, put... I may put a little bit more longer hair in the back. We'll see. But anyway, look at her. <laughs> you got... Huh. Right? I'm showing the backside. Oh. The buttocks. <clears throat> the junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. <clears throat> yes. There we go. Nice. Now I can add some rope. I just made this oh, guy yeah, a lasso. Accessorize. Accessorize. Add a sign. I like the gloves on that one, too. Yeah, I made these gloves. That's actually, those gloves are made from, oops, that's really close to the microphone. Um. There are these shams that you get, I get them from the Dollar Tree, and I just cut those out to make the gloves because I thought that looked like glove fabric. Okay. Can you do something really quick for them? What do you, what do you need? Just so that they can see kind of how you did it. You don't have to attach it, but maybe show them the neckerchief, how you did the... Oh, the neckerchief. Okay. So I took a real bandana. <laughs> this is the bandana. And see how I just cut that end off? So then it's a, it looks like it's a triangle like this, but small. And then I just put it around the neck and glued it around and, the back. And when it was, glued it? When it was a small version, right? Yeah. And so, awesome. yeah, that's how the neckerchief. But she's too fancy to wear one. <laughs> well, there we have it. Yeah. That's all we have for now. Thank you so much for everyone for stopping by and the super chats and super stickers. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. Fun. You guys are, were so much fun and hopefully you can join us next time. And we'll be back in two weeks. Well, I'll be posting every yeah. Monday, but back live in two, two weeks. weeks. So thank you so much. And don't pay attention to that yeah, night bot. Night bot. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> there you go.